uh, Hupo, I think we may have an issue. But, there's nowhere else to go. So, onward! Yippo! Give it a do! Hello, everyone, and welcome back to me playing Pokemon Mystery Dungeon DX. Sorry for uh, the long wait and such. Um, let's just say, um... <laughs> Enjoy the holidays and all that. Hope you guys also had a great holiday as well. I know it's rather late, but I just want you guys to know. The um, other thing I need you guys to know is... After New Year's, I ended up getting sick. Don't worry. It's nothing... It wasn't too serious. It was just, like, some kind of bug or something. I don't really know. Anyways, I'm still recovering from it, so... Just so you know... Anyways, I also kind of worked through Cladoa and Hupo's moves, so <laughs> just in case you guys were curious, I actually got rid of Solar Beam and replaced it with Body Slam. Trust me, that's gonna come in handy. And also, higher rank levels! Ho ho! Anyways, while we're going through this blazing inferno, seriously, I can only imagine Hupo having to basically go through this freaking hell's storm of a mountain. And it's ironic the fact that I don't know why, but I seem as like a psychic type here. Because, you know, space and all that, I guess. But. I also want to point out that... <laughs> <coughs> Sorry! <sighs> this annoying cough. Though, if anything, it's not as bad as, like, before. Ugh. If you hear anything like that, that's why. <sighs> but, uh, yeah... As for me getting some type of gifts, well, I got in some pajamas. I also ended up getting some really nice wool socks. Really cozy. And some new slippers, which I really needed. Really cozy, too. Which, ironically enough, before I basically left for my relative's place for the holidays, including Christmas, we ended up seeing those exact same kind of slippers. It's ironic. <laughs> uh, but good stuff, no less. Oof. Oh man, it's like Lionel has got a burnt tongue now. He's like, ah! Ow! Ow! Hot! Hot! Spicy! Hot! 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 Spicy! Hot! <laughs> Man. Uh, yeah, if I had Solar Beam still, I would have actually made use of that, but I'm not. But, um... Anywho's... The other thing is that I ended up getting was a sewing kit. Something I've really wanted for a while. And honestly, I haven't done anything with it yet because, you know, being sick and all that. But when I get to doing so, I will, um, I will be doing that. Oh, Pajet. Frickin' slugs. Ah. Well, that's a good thing I picked up that petcha berry. Woohoo. Woohoo. Yippa! 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 Rap boot. 
da. Noah is having it bad compared to Hupo. <laughs> I mean, there's like an poison and getting burned. I can only imagine him get him literally burning his like his, him burning like his butt or something. Gosh, it almost reminds me of the freaking tower I've seen in the original. And oh, it's just hilarious to think about. Oh, uh. Yeah, much appreciated, Hupo. <coughs> Again, I'm sorry. Honestly, I'm just happy that I'm able to get my voice back. <sighs> if you're probably wondering, what did I do for Christmas? Well, I actually ended up... Well, I actually spend time with my cousins, and we watched some Christmas movies, one of them happens to be a year without a Santa Claus, which, ironically enough, my sister, the flu of Queen Chelsea, was literally talking about that, and she even did, like, uh, dragon versions of the, of the Maestro Brothers, which honestly were pretty neat. So, it's ironic that I watched something that she talked about. <laughs> I'll be honest, I barely remembered that that special. We also watched, like, the... Uh, I think it was called uh, the Santa Chronicles? I don't know. It was, um, interesting to say the least. And then we ended up playing this, um, Cards Against Humanity slash Apples to Apples game. It's a card game. And it was, like, involving memes. And funnily enough, <laughs> I ended up getting the most cards, but the game itself was just downright hilarious. Like, it was really funny. Especially with the images. Nom 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 nom. Ba bam. <laughs> but yeah, it was pretty funny, and I ended up winning the game. And I literally just said, "Klonoa is my lucky charm," because I actually ended up bringing Klonoa with me. I actually ended up getting a. The plushie I had ordered back in November, well, the day I got him was the day I went to my, uh, my relative's place, my aunt and uncle, and it was the most weirdest luck I had. Let's just say earlier I was pretty much in a, in a bad position, I will not say. But I did end up getting my stuff, and Klonoa happens to show up, and he just seemed to make it a bit better. And also, the black cat plushie I had, that was him originally, well, that changed, so now that's literally his brother Arrow. Because Arrow is a bit more cat-like than he is what Klonoa is, even though they're the same kind of creature. Guns, of course, being the German Shepherd, because he literally looks like a German Shepherd, and Pango, well, I didn't get a Pangolian, and, well, you know, he's the horse. 
You guys seen those shorts that I made? And ah! There's a turtle in the ground. <laughs> I didn't. I did not know that could happen. Anywho's. Yeah, it was pretty interesting. Oh, I also ended up getting markers and crayons that I asked over a month, over the early weeks of December, and I ended up getting it. And I ended up making some really fine art. Heck, I even did the uh, Paldean starters, which was really cool. I had a good time. I mean, while it's nice using the color pencils, I really, really miss using markers and crayons. So that's what I did. Uh, ow! Again, it's not Klonoa's day. He's literally taking the he's literally taking more of the beating than Hupo, who's literally a grass type. It's just like, ah, uh, poor Klonoa. He's just not having a good day. He's like, uh, you know, Hippo, I think I'm the one who doesn't, who needs help. And Hippo's just like concerned. He's just like, well, I did try to warn you. Ah, Feroz, 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 Feroz. Come on, bird. Wait, go down. Ah! <laughs> Arcanines! Ah! Arcanines! Arcanines! I found bats! Or maybe it's Ray and she became a big fluffy dog. Hey, it's the closest thing to something that she is. And who's... <coughs> okay. Uh... Yeah, we are pretty high up. Can I just say, while going through all that, the music's still good. All right, then, King's Gone Rock, we know what... It... Yeah, I think I want to basically do that. I'm bringing one blast seed for obvious reasons. Oh, yeah. I was busy. Really busy, by the way. <laughs> okay. I think that might be... Okay, I might take that. Two of these, just in case. I mean, I don't think it's that. Onward! To the blazing peak. Hot! It's hot! Okay, okay, okay. I'm only doing this just so that we can at least survive and I have Klonoa has more HP compared to Hupo. Oh my gosh. Oh Hupo, I am so sorry, buddy. There's a Keglio! 
that market? Um, okay. Did not know that was here. Boy, when I remember playing the original on the DS, this place was horrifying. Mainly because of these frickin' Pharaohs and those frickin' Arcanines. But it's mostly the Pharaoh. Three floors. We know where that's going. But hey, at least we're not uh, wasting a lot of time here in this place. Ugh. But I do like the music. It's really cool. It's really cool in a very heated place. <laughs> okay, just to be sure to make sure Hupo is at least on good strength. Ah! Arcanine! 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 If people are asking, um, uh, why did I get the newest Pokemon games? Uh, answer is no. I'm actually gonna wait till, like, the DLC's out and such, you know, that comes with the pack and such. I'm at least, uh, I'm a cautious buyer. I mean, I waited till I get, um, Shield, if that means anything. But, yeah, I'm gonna be getting Scarlet just in just so you guys know, and that is picture, um, that is picture right there. Wow, it's so hot right here, and the mountain's so big. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is incredible. I wonder how that. Okay, that's a little better. I know the volcano, but the lava flow is so much higher than normal. And Clonal is just like, uh, yeah. <sighs> it's a little hot here. I don't think I can take the heat. And Hupo was just like, you really should have carried extra bottles of water before we came into this place. Now you tell me. <sighs> I swear if guns were here, he'd be scolding right now. Or he tells me, hey, why don't you, hey, why don't you stop belly yanking or something and just push right through? <laughs> Hupo was pretty much just like, I know, I miss them too. But we can't stay here, it's too dangerous. Let's get out of here, Klonoa. If anything, I'm starting to feel the effects, too. Yeah. Very dangerous. Ah! That's not good! Ah! Ah! Uh-oh. Uh oh, no! We know where this is going! Ah! It's a phoenix! This is all trace! Okay! One of the two legendaries that uh, would give anyone problems if they seriously don't know what to do unless they're not using a water type or something. Oh man, look at Hupo and Klonoa right there, that's so cool! Oh god! Oh, it's go time, Bernie! Uh -huh. <laughs> 
All right, it did. Wrap it there. Thank you, Hippo. That's bad, that's bad. Flinch, flinch. Um, yum. <laughs> I get a magic lando picking up a wa picking up an enemy and tossing it right at Mole Trace for the kill. Bad. Woohoo! Ah! Uh. Oh! Fire! Uh, oh! No! 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 Uh. Yeah. Seriously, events like these are just this is awesome. Yeah, we're definitely on the run. It's because of a freaking joke I wanna be just had to spread rumors. Okay, you know what's funny? If you actually had Cinequil as your partner, that would have been ironically funny. <coughs> yes. Don't eat Hupo. He is not he's not a pear. Hell, I don't even think he's a gumball. Though honestly, some say he's a gumball. Ball trace. <laughs> he probably He's like These two are just far too adorable to continue fighting. Oh <sighs> Curse my weakness for the soft and cute. With both Pupil and Clonoa's cuteness. It seems to have eased and pleased Moltres! <sighs> Fine. I trust that you aren't lying. <sighs> Hupo, you're mostly a spirit form. You don't have legs. <laughs> uh, uh, momentarily, people, I need to check on something. Okay, people, sorry, I had to basically check on something, but anyways, back to the thing. You may pass. Yeah, so Moltres wants us to stop the disasters that are causing things that are going around and causing haywire and all that. But we can't do it right now because, you know, we're fugitives and all. And, yeah. Clonoa was like, We are a rescue team, so we will do it. Just not right now. But when we get the chance, we will set things right. We will figure out the natural disasters and what's causing them. You have our word. Yes. Okay. 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 Ah! Is there anything else? Oh, my apologies. I was only preparing to take off. Sorry for frightening you both. Uh, 
does it really need to do that? Bye bye, Maltrace! Fare thee well, cute fluffy little creatures! And Cupid was just like, ah, I'm not technically! Uh, I'm not sure what that was about, but that was weird. I was like, yeah, no kidding. <laughs> Let's just get off this freaking mountain already! Woo! Whoa! That is so far away! Imagine Klonoa also needing the rest, so he's just gonna sit. Yeah, that was a long walk. I'm already exhausted. Let's just take a break for a little while, will right, Hippo? Yeah, I agree. Wow, it's amazing, isn't it? Look how far we've come. Yeah. I don't know how or why I'm making Hupo sound like that, but I guess I guess because he's he sounds like that in the freaking game, I guess. <sighs> Ooh, the music too. That is a sight. Literally, that is a sight. The game looks a bit more pretty. Playing it again and re. And we will looking at these. This is really nice. <laughs> Do you remember how hard it was to get across Mount Blaze? And Klonoa has to point out, uh, by getting poisoned, getting getting burned by a lot of fire enemies, while well, you just sit back and did a lot of the work right there. And I took the front line. Yeah. Yes, it was. And I narrowly turned into a into like some sort of crispy meal for that giant bird. Imagine Bulger is just like, I apologize, Fluffy One, please forgive me. It's like, what? <laughs> I'm sorry. Just imagining that. Ain't. <laughs> There are still Pokemon that can still get us. Oh yeah, I get it. That's Alakazam. Alakazam's team should be able to get here. I close was like, Hupo? We don't have a choice. We have to keep going. No one can get to. Let's be positive and keep going. And Klonos is like, Hupo. What's the matter, Klonoa? Aren't you coming? Hupo, are you sure you're okay? Because you look beaten. While Klonoa is the one looking very beaten. And Hupo's just like, Klonoa, I think you're the one who needs treatment. Why don't we get somewhere away from a heated place just so you can recover better? Those nasty burns really, really look like they hurt. I told you already. I said I would go with you, Klonoa. You, Paul. <sighs> yeah. Let's go and get this traded. Ow. <laughs> Come on. Let's go. I can imagine Hupo has to carry Klonoa because he's already hurt. And he had, like, some extra Ross berries with him. So, yeah, after the treatment, they go from a fiery place 
to somewhere cold. Very, very cold. Oh, it, through the swamps where they met some kind of ogre monster who was rabbiting about onions and all that. And then they make it to the frozen area. Clonella is tiny. Hey! I am not... <sighs> I can only imagine that Guns and the others, they actually send one of their best flyers to keep an eye on them just to make sure they're okay. Wow! <laughs> oh my gosh, it's so pretty! Oh, poor Hupo! First the fire dungeon, and now this! Oh, poor Hupo! He's so cold! It's so c c cold Let's do! And Kodos is like, Tissue? Uh, thank you! Uh, it's so cold, so freezing! Kodos is like, Uh, you wanted us to go this way. Didn't the map tell us where we were going? I think we took a wrong turn, but this was the best place we could have gone. It sure is lonely out here. So much snow. And there's no Pokemon around here. Maybe we are all alone. Ah! Huh? What? Whoa! That's Absol! What is that? <clears throat> Clonus was like, uh, I don't know what that was. Not sure it was friend or foe, but I don't want to stick around to find out. Oh boy. <laughs> <coughs> Sorry, people. Uh, momentarily. Ugh. <sighs> Sorry, people. You didn't want to hear that. Anyways. I could have sworn I saw someone. M maybe we should keep going. We don't want to stick around here. Glenola would be on guard because, you know, Major Nope. Oh, that is so pretty. And apparently we entered Chelsea's domain. Oh boy, the Floof Queen is definitely going to approve of it. Oh. Gosh, I remember in Klonoa 2 seeing that they go to like a frozen location mira mira oh oh that is cool. and you know what it's a shame that clonel is not gonna be able to sing in this because he doesn't have his board and all that because we're not going down slopes good grief man if you guys pretty much don't know what i mean during the snowboarding level clonoa well, not only was he snowboarding, thanks to Popka stealing that one board, he ended... <laughs> Klonoa? He actually had done something that no one expected. And that would be... He was literally singing that freaking song. You know the one I'm talking about. And I'm not even kidding! Klonoa's... Klonoa can actually sing! I mean, we're not going for the pathway. We already got plenty of items. <laughs> you guys know what I mean. You guys know what I mean. 
if you guys want to basically see, if you guys want to be humming to that or play that in the background, feel free to, because this is literally that area. And, which, fun fact, in the game Namco Cross Capcom, that theme is actually used for uh, Klonoa and Guns whenever they are played as. I am not even kidding, and it's awesome. Seriously, it's a perfect hype music note. I mean, theme. And even more what's funny is that it's not Klonoa who actually gets, gets uh, beaten up. But rather, Klonoa gets, well... He gets pushed back, and Guns is the one that has to take the hit, and the whole bike goes up! I'm surprised Guns didn't get, you know, launched off his own bike. It's just hilarious, and honestly, I totally see that, and my god, those two are just... They just work so well together. It, a perfect duo, honestly. It's ironic the fact that Guns used to work alone, but I guess since Heroes... He saw Klonoa as a worthy partner. It's nice to know that he's actually been able to put some parts behind him and actually moved forward to consider a partner who could hold his own weight. Klonoa has actually proven time and time again that he is a tough little guy. And it's funny how he doesn't like being called a kid, even though he's clearly a kid. Granted, he's about 12 to 13 years old, so there's that. But yeah, the interactions those guys have are just great. And I definitely know the chapter titled Klonoa Heroes, it's a shame Pango wasn't making a cameo in there. Oh well. <laughs> During the conversation, when Jenga's attacking the palace, or temple? I, I think it was a temple. One of the characters, one of the other uh, characters that crossed over in the series, actually they're all crossing over, basically they asked if they could pet Klonoa, and instead of Klonoa being confused or mad, well, okay, he was a bit confused, he said, he said yes, they could pet him after the battle. And it just goes to show that Klonoa is fine with getting, receiving the pets and such, as long as you ask. At least he has standards. Still, I'd pet him. But it's not just that, but also, give him, give him a hug, give him a boop. Possibly a kiss on the, on the head. Seriously, he's just that character that would receive it. I know there was also a manga bit with the, with the game and it just sh showed like a more comedic approach which of course makes sense where Klonoa and Guns are being held by some of the ladies and the ladies they are just going guck over them because they claim that they're adorable and Guns has no idea why the guys are jealous at them probably because they are just like very much, very animalistic and such. I mean, I couldn't blame them. Guns can be both cool, but he's also kind of adorable. Especially when he gets flat, flustered and such. It's, it's actually adorable. It's also really funny that Guns never tries to escape from being held fully. And then he, and then he just gets... He gets slammed on the floor by his own ridiculousness, and he just ends up getting covered in bandages, and Klonoa, he just ends up getting- he's just being held, and he's just so short! This is- it's just funny to see. So, from what I can tell, is about Tails' height, and Guns is about, like, say, Sonic's height. At least from what it looked like in the, uh, manga. <laughs> well, 
which makes Jenga kind of like a normal height. He's like normal size in comparison. Ah! Well, Clamella just got frozen. Frozen cabin, anyone? <coughs> Actually, no, 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 no. We aren't gonna try that. That's a first, actually. Oh. Someone has intruded upon the forest. The enfeebled flow of the icy winds. Is the intrusion to blame? It must be stopped. For it is to protect the forest. Okay. But, yeah. I just find that just f funny to talk about and such. No, you don't. No. Okay, Hupo, now you're gonna have to use your other moves. So many of these, so many of these. No. You've been blocked. No. Wow, on the boost. <coughs> momentarily, people, momentarily. Ugh. I swear, people. I'm not as bad like like before. Trust me, I was a lot worse. But this, it's just an annoying cough. Don't worry, it'll go away within time. And my nose is uh clearing up again. Thankfully, I really found it also annoying. <sighs> But yeah. Also, the thing with uh, Gunt's father, I will basically say, um, I'm not sure if I brought this up before, but he was never really, we were never really told what his name was in the, in the Heroes. But apparently the wiki established that his name is like Butts or something, but I'm gonna be honest here. That really doesn't sound like a proper name. That doesn't sound like a really fitting name for like a bounty hunter that's really skilled. So, in Namco Cross Capcom, Jenga, the freaking bastard that he is, actually called what his... What his... What, what Gunz's dad's name was. His name was Bats. With a Z. And honestly, that's a cool name. I found that to be a really cool name. Like, Bats? Yeah, boy! And, yeah, I can pretty much see why he's Gunz's his father. The dude is jacked! Does like Jenga, you friggin' you frickin' crazy cat man. But yeah. In Namco Cross Capcom, Jenga pretty much says, You're Bats's son. So yeah, from then on I just start I just pretty much just called him Bats. Because it's a lot more of a fitting name, let's be honest here. Here's a... If 
there something that I think Klonoa would have done when Guns was on his, like, um, sort of, well, in Heroes, I imagine. When he's basically alone, or he's feeling down or something, I can imagine Klonoa just going to check on him to see if he's okay. And the both of them have, like, a heart-to-heart -heart talk. You know, it's just the two of them. And... Let's be honest here. We don't see Guns cry, but it's implied that he kind of does. He just doesn't want to, you know, show a type of weakness. But Clono said that it's okay to cry, as he shouldn't keep those emotions bottled up or anything. It's okay to express it. He said, if there's anyone who's gonna, who's gonna hear him cry or something, it'd be him. Or, if he needs a shoulder to cry on, he'd be there. Because Klonoa is just that good a guy. So, yeah, I could totally envision... And, here's the thing, people! Guns and Klonoa, they have a more brother-like relationship. And... Guns, the fact that he's grown to actually start to respect Klonoa, see how much he's effort, but how much he values him as a partner, and how much they've been through, despite their differences. Klonoa brought the best out in him, as Guns brought out the best in Klonoa. So yeah. Whew! This place! I'm gonna be in on flashbacks! Those who played this game from the original, you guys know what's coming up! Oh boy! Uh. Okay, okay. Again, people, I'll just, uh, just a moment. Okay, people, I made preparations. I, uh, made my box a little lighter, so, um, yeah, well, let's just go. Let's get moving. <clears> hmm. <throat> oh, hey, it's Garland's, uh, claw. It got bigger. <sighs> Sarah's like, Garland, why are you leaving your machinery out here? It almost reminds me of those freaking statues of the frick when Garland would just leave that out. Just a funny thought. Heart of the forest. Oh, hey, and they evolved for Pango. Seriously, trying to get an air on was annoying. Ugh, but it was worth it. And it had Rockhead. But yeah, saying that. I could definitely imagine that. When Klonoa got um, taken down by Jenga and was poisoned, they really were on a rush there. And it's, and Pango, he insists on him carrying Klonoa, but Guns, him being faster and a lot more quicker with the gun and all, he would be the one to do it. And Pango, he took on the majority of the heavy lifting. And he said, he, I imagine that, it's like, his brain is just, like, racing. He's trying to keep Klonoa from, you know, almost dying. Yeah, seriously. That game ended up getting that kind of dark. They almost killed Klonoa. Yeah. In a way, that's just fitting, actually.
Yeah, and I definitely imagine after... And Guns isn't even trying to put on the tough guy attitude anymore. He's just... He, he's generally concerned for Klonoa's well-being and such. So, in a way, he does anything that a big brother would. Help him. Get him the help that he needed. And luckily, they made it in time. So, Klonoa basically was... While he was out, he was having a type of nightmare. Basically, yes, mainly the dream was asking, what does it mean to be a hero? And Klonoa, well, he's reminded, and he wakes up. I can imagine Guns, even though he tries to put on the attitude, he would definitely be crying by that point. Which, normally, he would not. But if it's for someone he generally cares about, who's been through a lot with him, he can let loose. <laughs> Anyways. Oh, it's so cold here! Glad we made it out there! <sighs> yeah. Whew. Let's just keep going. We can't stop here. Okay, I just want to say this right now, but those trees in the background that have this pinkish color, why does it look like frozen? Why does it look like um, those icy treats? Like those shaved ice? I actually want to eat it. Is, uh, Hippo, did you say anything? No, did you? No, I didn't think so. Hmm, thought I heard a voice. <clears throat> oh no, turn back. You may not pass. Ah, no, 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 that's bad. You are forbidden to pass. If you persist in trying to pass, then so be it. But only after you defeated me. I know people see this as a female, but... Um, it's got a big, bushy beard. I didn't... I think the article is the most gender neutral of the trio. Ah! Whoa! Articuno, everyone! Ah! Oh! Oh my gosh! Whatsoever. Hey, you do realize there's a there's a um little dinosaur right there, and yet you're still choosing to go after. Ow, cold. Ah, uh, that was cold. That was cold. 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 No, 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 
no, no. Wahoo! Down goes the freaking ice bird. Woo! Nearly got me there. That was a close one. Articuno, surprisingly, is the most stubborn of the trio. At least Zapdos and Moltres decided to basically leave us be. But Articuno, you know, for an ice type, wow, you really are stubborn. At least you're not the Twitter bird. Anyways. Wait. Melt? Okay. So this place is always cold. Right. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, no, 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 no. It's definitely a coincidence. <sighs> Yeah, how could two little itty bitty Pokemon cause this? It's not like we're a fire type, sheesh. Besides, Clodo is way too cute to cause any of that. If anything, he just walked on through. Well, the others say I was cute and fluffy. I. Uh, Hippo? I don't think it's working. That's just Hupo is trying to negotiate with Articuno. I mean, you wouldn't go after. You wouldn't do anything to this face, would you? And he's like holding Klonoa up with like the little vines or something. Because I know Chikorita could do that in the anime. Like, and Klonoa's just like, Hupo, you're not helping. Is that all? You expect me to believe that? <laughs> You say you are the most fluffy thing? Look at me! Look at this magnificent beard! No one can match it! Hippo, it's not working. Eh, <laughs> it was worth a try! Ah! Oh, no, 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 no! If you're truly going to have to, I imagine episodes like there's no fault in what they said. If if anything, Articuno, you should have known better. They are both children. Especially with one that has fluffy hands. Oh not this again, Absol oh, Fine, fine. Indeed. You know I have the sense. Well, to sense natural disasters. And how much the climates have changed and all that. Something else has happened. Means I've never experienced such before. Besides, can't you just let them go? They are but mere children. <sighs> Fine. I suppose I can let them pass. Ah, <sighs> close call. You two, try to prevent the calamities from spreading. I am counting on you both. Imagine that Articuno just giving both the looks. And just like, well, you know, this fur is quite soft. Child, what type of conditioner? What kind of shampoo do you use? Uh, this product? Hmm. 
I should try it out. Very well, then. Farewell, and safe travels! Uh-huh! And... <laughs> Souls is like... <sighs> Do forgive him. He likes to keep his feathers all nice and tidy. But at least you gave him a change of heart right there. <sighs> Thank you for coming! We would have been done for. And Kronos was like, I've been turned into a popsicle twice! Hmm. Rather than say thanks, focus on step in the stopping the calamities before they worsen. If they are left unchecked, worse shall befall us. My instincts warn us, so... Uh... Uh... I sense a terrible power than the natural calamities. I was led here by my feelings of foreboding. I think it would be best if we combine forces. I will join you. What? Wow! That's so cool! Wow! Really, to put an end to calamities, cooperation is vital. Let me lend you my powers. Much thank you! And Absol join the group! Yeah, boy! Absol joined our party! Froth breath! Ugh. <laughs> uh. I imagine that Epsil, seeing Clono in a frozen-like state, decides that, Oh, you poor child. <laughs> and also, I like to think that Hupo is perfectly fine. Because he's not being super-duper cold. <laughs> Rather, it's Clono who's super cold. <laughs> So c cold. Uh, uh, at least Lolo and the others aren't here. Uh, oh boy! Look at these little tro look at these troops. They're going on through. So cold. Imagine Absol just being whole supportive and all that. We are not that far from our destination. If anything, if we keep pressing forward, we should make it there in time. Especially near the morning. Near the morning! Ugh. I know. Clono, I have to be honest, it's like, I don't know. I'm sorry. I said something stupid that frightened you. I just, Clono is just like, he's just looking at Clono, he's just like very frozen and such. It's like, Clono, you're frozen. <sighs> I'm fine, you bow. This is not something to worry about. You are in no condition to say something like that. Please. I meant asshole just keeping them warm and all that. We mustn't stop now. Just. Oh boy. I could also imagine that um, while they were on their journey and such, they are telling Absol about their adventures and all that. It's like, I think I would like to meet them once we return. Oh, 
Klonoa? What's wrong? And... <laughs> oh my gosh. Ow. Wait. Hubo doesn't sound like a girl, Klonoa! I'm seeing Garnivore. Imagine. This is basically the high priestess's Pokemon, just watching over Klonoa. Hmm. Imagine Absol basically actually is able to see. But not Hupo. So, this is your guiding spirit. I sense a good, a positive, calm aura. <laughs> Hupo's just like, I'm sorry, what now? And now we're gonna have to go and meet Nine Tails. Picture frames, it's just so cute. Anyways, so that's what happened. <laughs> you fall! You said the same thing! So the High Priestess is Pokemon, I told you. I'm amazed. I'm just surprised I couldn't see. I like to think this isn't as cold, so they were able to get enough rest. Finally, we're gonna find out the truth! Yeah, and when we do, we'll be able to go back and confirm it! Yes, we'll be alright. So I can save that for sure. <laughs> hmm. Bring back memories. Haha. <laughs> it's strange, isn't it? Indeed. You two have grown rather fondly of each other. And your bonds are truly spectacular. And I believe in you, Klonoa. We'll get through it, all right? All of us. Indeed. I felt something special, something from you, since the first time I saw you. There's indeed a reason. But what are you is none of my business. Your heart is pure. Let's keep moving forward, Klonoa. Okay, you know, you're not so bad after all. In fact, we thought you were scary, but you're not so bad. Everyone makes that conclusion. Just because of my typing and what I stand for. It's... It gets lonely. Well, you're with us. And you're gonna meet a lot of friends. Everyone's gonna accept you. Well, okay, maybe not all. A lot, but I know there are those that will trust us. <laughs> I believe you. Alright, let's make preparations before we get going, okay? Well, now that preparations are here, let's get going. I miss clicked. No, I, I want to go into the dungeon. To Mount Freeze, which is definitely a long dungeon. Gosh, when I first played this, I'm just like, good grief. But again, really pretty music. Dangus! Hey, it's Bats' Pokemon! 
I actually gave him a Zangoose, believe it or not, when I did the, the Klonoa and Pokemon thing. I'm still gonna do it. And it's a lot of fun. And now that there are new Pokemon and such, I'm actually thinking of rearranging characters' Pokemon or probably keep some of them the same. I know for a fact I'm just gonna keep uh, Bats having a Zangoose, despite it being used by both him and Jenga. But... I think it would be more fitting if Bats had the Zangoose because it's poison resistant and such. And plus, it's not really a poison type. And then Jenga would have a Seviper in his party. Because, you know, the guy is technically a snake. <laughs> Boy, when we get back, I'm so gonna have to train up Absol. So many normal types in this place. Hmm. Anyways, I'm gonna guess I'm gonna talk about the Zangoose bit. Uh, back to Zangus he's had for quite a while. And it's pretty much one of the remaining Pokemon that Guns actually got, or at least had in his party. Because it was basically a rogue Pokemon. After what happened with Bats, well, in the AU, Bats is still alive. It's just that he's been recovering and was unable to see his son. And he was actually going into hiding just so that Jenga doesn't know that he's still alive. But the Zangus acts like a sort of... A sort of t type of father figure to Guns since, well, he's known him since he was really little. And, well, he also kept the hat as well. Even though... The Zangoose's main held item is a silk scarf. Basic. It's one of the few remaining Pokemon that Guns actually has sentimental meanings with. Because it was his father's Pokemon. And the Zangus really hate, hated Jenga's guts for what he did. Because he always did not trust the type of Pokemon he used. Even though not all poison types are that bad. It's just that one wicked trainer, aka what Jenga is, would basically do that. It's just very, very story driven there. And for the most part, the Zangus would just st stay hidden and if he were to be found, would have to fight for survival and all that. And then... Well, once it finds Guns, that would be like the first time that Guns has actually cried because this is actually one of his father's Pokemon. And it's been so long since he's actually seen a familiar face. Especially with the scarf and the hat. Yeah, the Zangus actually kept the hat. So basically, it's just, it's two sentimental things. And the Zangus is really strong, even able to take out some fighting types. <laughs> I 
I know I also get guns a Coridon. This was before I found out what uh, Coridon's typing was. So instead, it's basically Guns' answer to the uh, the Red Clan. Just making sure that it fills up. Okay. Wait, 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 isn't Jimeco considered to be a- No, it's a pure psychic type! I forget that it literally is just a single typing! Oh. Well, that's a shame, I can't go across the water. Gee, if only Absol had wings! It- Wait, is that a Kekaleon shop? Dude, in the frozen area? Wow. <laughs> Oh boy. Um. It is a Kecklean shop! I'm surprised it's all the way out here! Okay. Numb. Seriously, this place is definitely long. golden one. Nice. Now, for Guns' team and such, I had to literally get creative. I figure the irony here is that, well, one of the Pokemon, he would also have a Jolteon. Ah! Freaking Pupitars! <clears throat> Much appreciated, Klonoa. But yeah, Guns having a Jolteon, I've actually seen on a picture that Pango had an Agron and Klonoa, for some reason they gave him a Ryalu. I guess, now there's the thing, trainers can have multiple Pokemon, it's just that, well, they only have to stick to at least using six. It just makes the most sense there. <laughs> hmm. 
You know, because Hupo is a, um, a grass type that definitely needs it. Ah, it's a hailstorm. Vipers. Okay. So there's another of Guns' Pokemon, that being the Koridon. Said that's basically his answer to the Red Clan. But he mostly used it as a means to get around. Including using it as a boat. Because if you guys don't know, guns get seasickness. Hupo, why do you have this? You know what, you know what, you know what? I never use white screen, so there we go. Klonoa, we getting rich yet, boy. But yeah, he had to go out of his way to, well, he heard about the, uh, the Pokemon being in the area, so he went out of his way to go search for it, and when he did, he had to pass a trial if he was really worthy to ride the Pokemon. And that led to hijink scenarios of guns trying to ride the Pokemon. But he passed. If I sure. By his skills. He didn't even have to fight it. He just had to try and see how long he could last on riding the different means. Though, he was still iffy about the water one. But, points out that it ain't a boat, so he should be okay. Just think about what matters. Think about what's important and what your goals are. And, yeah, let's just say that's how Guns ended up getting his ride Pokemon. Hmm. 
If anything, it just works. But Gus, for the most part, never used it for battle. He most he would just use it just to ride. Which, the Coridon was pretty cool with it. Oh, we're nearly there. We're heading into the crucial stretch. Let's keep our guard up. Yes, ma'am. So, uh, momentarily, people. Okay, people. Let's move onward. Oh, I also picked up the, um, the bank, the bank orb. Oh, hey, it's Jenga! Welcome. Oh. Huh? Well, if it isn't Kanoa and his little pals. It's been so long. Kanoa would be like, uh, Hey, Jenga. Uh, wasn't expecting you. You do forget I run the bank, right? I have good connections. Anyways, what can I do for you? I was hoping to deposit. Oh, yes, of course. No issue there. I will guard this with great strife. Right. Imagine Jenga is the only one that Klonoa can speak to with this. I will await your visit. Thanks. Really, appreciate it. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm so glad we did not land on a trap. Glalies! Just a few more layers. I mean, I will admit, the music here is still great. <laughs> well, thanks you Bo.
Wow. 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 Hupo. <laughs> I can imagine someone like Guns or Bats being able to sur to actually thrive in this kind of environment, considering they are, well, wolves, and they are well-coated, too. I mean, seriously, both Bats and Guns have the biggest fluff. Meaning, it's most likely that they would definitely... Driving this kind of weather scheme. Oh! <laughs> okay, we made it! <laughs> We've made it to the top. <sighs> we finally arrived! <laughs> Man, it's such a... It's so windy up here! But where's Nine Tails? Oh, no, 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 no. And Yuba, why are you smiling? Boy, this is not the time to be smiling! <sighs> I knew that fluffiness was here! I found them! This is like, FLUFFINESS! And... And Glenn was just like, What? <clears throat> Honestly, Alakazam, I think you've got a problem. Charizard! Uh, you're good. <sighs> Tyranitar! We're supposed to be intimidating to them! So, uh, just, just, just shut it. Anyways. <clears throat> Anyways, uh, I'm looking for a fight. Don't think so badly of me. I don't know how to show mercy. I didn't wish for the conclusion. It's far too late. Must bring peace. I am apologize, my fluffy friend. We will crush you with every shred of our power. Oh, wait. Wait a second, wait a second. If this is a battle sequence, why is the Tyranitar Sandstream ability activating? Oh well. Let's watch. Get them. Whoa! <laughs> A grass type. It's a shame he's not a dark type. Cease this at once. Whoa! <laughs> Night tails. I mean, uh, Nine Tails. So that's Nine Tails. The legend it was real. <laughs> okay, you want to know what's creepier? Uh, in the DS, in the original, both all the Pokemon. I mean, all three of these guys, their eyes are completely white, which is really creepy. They look like zombies. Oh, wait, this is Granny! Mommy! Whether they considered my curse to be a legend or not, I cannot. However, it happened. 
Many years ago, I tried to lay a curse on someone. It was then, however... <laughs> Imagine... <laughs> I mean, we know how this goes. They are... Yeah, they are not of the same year. Kanoa. Boy, you may relax. It is not you. Your heart is pure. And so is your spirit. Now, what did you just say? I knew that boy was special. This is... This is relieving. Th thank you! Thank you! Andrew Klonoa. He's, he's just so relieved. He's a dream traveler, yes! But he would never do anything horrible. <laughs> you, Po! Just pure preciousness. And the music. Oh, I love, I love this music. They are elsewhere. You were wrong. Wrong to hound and harass Klonoa. We apologize. I imagine that Alkazam is just like, I am so sorry. I am so sorry. I knew deep down you were innocent. Uh, uh, help! Help! Alright, alright. Let the kid go. Thank you. You know, you are quite soft. But and Charizard just happened to hold him for a bit. <laughs> and and Tyranitar is just like, no one asked me if I wanted to hold a carpet. <laughs> and then he just gets the ultimate anyways. <laughs> as rock hard as my boy is. I feel so utterly soft, so innocent, and I'm sorry too. And Hupo's just like, uh, wow, I didn't think Clinton would be that popular with them. Maybe the fact that he's an innocent soul. He just has that luck. We got worked up by that Gengar. <laughs> I suspected Gengar from the start. Kuno doesn't seem like a treacherous type. He's too cute for that. <laughs> I mean, I've seen what he's capable of. But he's nothing like what, what that Gengar said. If only that were true. Dad. Quick! Uh oh. The world, the beast of the embodiment of Earth. Groudon! Groudon! Oh, that's bad. That's bad. But, as strong as we are, we best get ho we best go home. You guys be careful. Mm. Uh, 
Tarantar, um, we're practically platinum right now. And, and imagine a Klonoa, he just literally just shows, like, the platinum badge, and they're just like, oh, man, this kid's good. Anyways, off to quell the waking crowd on. <laughs> and now we're back. We are back. Nice. We're back in the square. Hello, Joker. So, why aren't you hunting them down? It's... <sighs> that little... I must admit, that little camping boy and his friend. They certainly have guts. I also gave chase, but they fled to Mount Blaze. For the life of me. I can't go near there. They've lost the trail. I'm a grass type, see? Fire doesn't agree with me at all. I don't know what became of Klonoa's team after that. But those fugitives, they think they will risk Mount Blaze. They've grown so much tough. I respect them for that. <laughs> Yee! Oh, you! You're hopeless! Useless! Pathetic! Walk the talk. Ha. Oh no, we're out of the picture. If anything, we'll wait for word of Kalanoa's demise. Oh, no. Uh, what's the word? No. What is that face? What is that face? <laughs> oh my gosh. That's a li That. Clinton Wales back! Yeah, what'd you say? Oh no! What? Over there! Clinton The back! Hey everyone, we're back! Yeah, baby! Or like the boys walking in with the. <laughs> is this what I think it is? Yeah! Pokemon Square. It just feels so good to be back. Who's that guy in the middle? Ahem. Actually, I happen to be a female, thank you. Uh. <laughs> oh, um, my mistake. Madam? I don't recognize the weirdo in the back. Wait. Kanoa was innocent. Yes. Yeah. It is true. I have been traveling with them since they arrived within the frosty forest. Ever since. So instead of just, you know, the Pelipper giving the word, it's Absol telling them! <laughs> yeah, baby! Yes, yes, yes! So yeah, instead of like Pelipper just coming into our room to steal the lines, such Absol just explains it. <laughs> Anyways, we're back. We are back, baby. Gengar. <laughs> Kids! I love Ekans! Bye, boys. See you later. We're back. Everyone is back. I imagine everyone just throws like a welcome back party. It's like, they're back! Clinella's back! 
just like, Noah! Oh, thank goodness you're safe! You came back stronger. Wow, wow! Everyone is just happy that Klonoa and, and Kupo are back. They're okay. <laughs> yeah, it feels great. It's great to be back. After all of that... Adios, amigos! After all that, I'm just gonna say this right now. That was three dungeons. The Fugitive's arc is over. And let's just say, all of Team ACT, they got to hold and, and appreciate Klonoa. And who's a Platinum Ranker? Well, everyone, this was the Dragon Lover 95 here. Thank you for joining me. And I apologize for the uh, coffee bits, but at least I got to do this again. And next time we shall do that side quest, you know, where it involves our base. Till then, we'll see you all later. Till then, bye!